What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Cowboy Booth Care series. So today we're talking the fourth and final step in the Cowboy Booth Care process, which is dressing. Dressing your heels and your edges. All along here and right around here. Now before we get into this, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't be afraid to ring that bell either. It never hurts. Now, before we get into dressing our heels and edges, let's talk though, let's recap on our previous uh, three steps, which if you haven't seen those, they're in the link below, so go ahead and check those out too. Now, first we cleaned our leather, right? We got all the dirt and grime, all the dust off the boots. Second step, we conditioned the leather. We rehydrated the boot and got some of that moisture back into the uh, leather that might have been lost from normal wear and tear. And as I had said in this uh, in the previous video, conditioning your boots is probably the most important step out of the four in your uh, boot care. So if you don't do any of these other steps, make sure you're at least conditioning your boots. And our third step was polishing our leather. You know, we recolored it and we uh, added a protective layer to the boot. Now the fourth and final step is going to be dressing your heels and your edges. I'm going to show you guys how to do this and uh, really kind of talk about the product that we're going to be using. Now why do you want to dress your heels and your edges on your boots? Well what happens is over time the color and it's kind of hard to see it because I do care for my boots on a regular basis so they don't get too bad. But the color along the edges here, and even on the heels, tends to get scuffed up, scratched up, and it kind of wears off over time. And if you have a leather uh, sole, this color will start to show along the edges and even on the heel there because that's what it looks like underneath this black. So you want to re-touch re uh, that up from time to time and recolor it, and you're going to want to do that with us. Heel and sole dressing. This one's from Alan Edmonds. I'll link in the description below of uh, where to get this guy at. It comes in a little glass bottle. And you can find a bunch of different ones. Kiwi makes a heel and edge dressing. Pretty much any shoe care or boot care company, they probably most of them do make some type of a heel and edge dressing. Now this also is the most aesthetic part of your boot care. And if you have say a rubber sole or yeah, a rubber sole, you're probably not even going to do this step. This is more for if you have a leather sole on your boots or even your dress shoes. That's what this step's going to be good for because you want a more elegant design or elegant look, I'm sorry, uh, with those. So this is going to help you to keep that and get it looking very similar to how it was out of the box. Now how you're going to do that is, we're going to take the cap off here, it's a screw cap. And most of these have some type of a roller ball or a uh, foam dauber on the tip. And it's going to be a little bit awkward showing this to you guys, to you guys because I'm going to be doing it from the front of me. But I like to start on the heel here. And you'll just push down a little bit to get that... Um, Heel and edge dressing working. You don't want to push down the whole time because you're going to have too much product coming out. Just push down for a few seconds, get some of it working. Just kind of work what you got all the way around. You want to make sure you get nice even coat because whenever it dries it'll look a little weird. And how you're going to pick coloring on this is this is black and since my uh, heels and my edges were black, I went for that. If you had brown, you'd pick brown. I'm not sure if they make a neutral or not. I don't believe they do. Usually your two options are going to be brown and black. You want to make sure you pay extra attention to the tip here of the toe. Because it tends to show more there. Same way with on the heels. You want to pay more attention to your heels and the tip of your toe. Because that's just where uh, it tends to show a lot more. Than the rest of it. Work your way around to the other side. And you want to be careful if you have any kind of white um, white welt stitching there. 
because if you get this on it, it will dye that whatever color the dressing is. So just be careful. Or if you have, say, a brown boot that has uh, black soles and edges on it, just be careful that you're not getting it onto the leather. Because like I said, it will dye it. It's almost, it's per, I believe it's actually a leather dye. I could be wrong with a little bit added into it to give the heels and the edges a shine. So I'm just going to finish up here. And just try and even that out. All right, we're all finished with that. And there's really no brushes or anything you're going to use for this. Sometimes, depending on what type of uh, heel and edge dressing you get, it might have a little applicator brush instead of a um, dauber. And the reason why I'm spinning the boot is to air dry it so that um, I can show you guys the end result. It probably looks a little bit weird seeing it uh, rotate in the corner there. All right, I think that that's about good. Yep. Good enough to show you guys anyway. So you can see it gave it a little bit of a shine. You're not going to usually find too much of a um, high shine with this. But it'll just give it a nice uh, sheen to it. Make it a little bit more presentable looking. Alright, and that's it I have for you guys today. That finishes up the... Um, Cowboy Boot Care series. This was part four, like I had said. So if you guys haven't seen part one, two, and three, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the description below. And I hope this, the entire series in general, not just this video, but I hope it helped give, gave you guys some tips on how to care for your cowboy boots and you guys took something from it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.